Daniel, can you please come here? We need to have a word with you. Jesus fuck what do you guys want now? First of all, stop with your attitude, or you will be grounded for another two weeks. Fine then. Second of all, I heard from my friend Jazzy that Gabby's dollhouse characters will move to Vian City by tomorrow, so expect to be on your best behavior like myself. That's correct. Robert, Richard, William, and I have watched this show together back in 2016 when I was a year old. Sarah's right, Daniel. Sometimes we need to see our childhood, in person, just like what we did when we were watching TV together. Bullshit. All bullshit. I do remember watching Gabby's dollhouse, but I don't want to see them in person. Daniel that was beyond disrespectful of you to say that. We will be seeing Gabby's dollhouse characters tomorrow whether you like it or not. Dad is right, Daniel. Now please go to your room. Fine then, stupid cunt. And if I hear another rude word from you I swear to god I'm going to punch you in the face. Jesus Christ. First getting grounded for trashing cigarettes at the park, then getting grounded for robbing McDonald's, and now this? I just wish to be ungrounded like Robert. Perhaps I should call my friends to see if they had that same reaction. Hi Daniel and Aaron. So Francis, I got frustrating news. Oh, what will it be? My parents, and my siblings Robert, William, Sarah and Richard told me that Gabby's dollhouse characters will move to Vion City tomorrow. My parents, and even my siblings Brian, Gilbert, Ashley and Xavier told me the same thing as well. Same goes for my parents and my siblings George, Sarah, Robert and Mary. Man. Our respective retarded families have told us about Gabby's dollhouse characters arrival to Vion City would be in tomorrow. Yay. But what should we do to cause trouble to Gabby's dollhouse characters, despite we watched that show in our childhoods? I got an idea. When Gabby's dollhouse characters arrive to Vian City tomorrow, if our parents caught us and take us to their new home, we should cause trouble for Gabby's dollhouse characters. What do you guys say? You're such a genius, Aaron. See you tomorrow. Daniel, it's one o'clock in the morning, so I think you should get some shut eye. Please turn off your computer, and go to bed. Already? Fine then bro, I'll go to bed if it's what you want. Daniel, please come here. This is it. Fucking Christ what the hell now? Bro didn't I tell you to quit it with your attitude yesterday? I said quit it with your attitude, or you might know what happens if you don't quit it. Fine. Geez, you should realize that I'm a teenager and not some kind of a toddler. I'm 15 years old, not 4 months old. I don't care if you are 15 years old or 4 months old, but what I do care is that attitude should be toned down respectively. Geez okay fine. That's what I thought. Anyway, Gabby's dollhouse characters have found their new home, which is not far away from our house, Francis's house and Aaron's house. Robert's right, Daniel. Let's pack up and let's go. Facts and no lies bro. Let's get in the car, and go to Gabby's dollhouse character's house. Right, we're in Vion City, and we found ourselves a new home. I know right Cat Rat? Being in Vion City is much better, sometimes we have to move to the text-to-speech universe too. To be honest with ya, I sound like Julian Wilson's brother, Brandon, who has trouble hearing and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD for short. That's right Cakey Cat. Sometimes we have to be in other places aside from our show. Alright guys. Let's wait for new guests to come. Well, hello there, fellow friends. Who are you all? Glad you asked that question, Pillow Cat. My name is Robert Jason Crompon, the smartest troublemaker and the best friend of Brian who's also the smartest troublemaker. 
Right there are my dad's name, Martin Bernard Crompound, my mom's name, Laura Alexis Crompound, and my siblings' names, William George Crompound, Sarah Ashley Crompound, Richard Eric Crompound, and Daniel Roger Crompound. Welcome aboard, guys. Just in case the Harringtons moved to see us earlier than you and Henderson's. Good morning, Daniel and Aaron. Morning, Francis. How was yesterday's sleep? Oh, my yesterday's sleep was nice. Good to hear. Our yesterday's sleeps were nice as well so we could start causing trouble today. Too bad we were given five strikes, but we still should cause trouble nevertheless. Perfect timing. Let's get to cause trouble today. God, Francis these days. At least he has five strikes along with Daniel and Aaron, so thank goodness. But I swear to Christ, if he dares to waste all five of them along with Daniel and Aaron, their asses are grounded for this. God, this place is more suitable for my homework. I'm glad you decided to do your homework here, Robert. Phase 1 of causing trouble has started. Hi Daniel, can we help you? You need homework, ask Robert. You need basketball, ask us. Oh I will need basketball alright. Daniel if you dare break the basketball hoop, I swear, you will be given a first strike along with Francis and Aaron. And how? You don't even know how to give me a strike. Yes I do because my parents gave me permission. I'm not dumb enough, you know? Forget it. I should pretend Daniel's not here and keep it. Robert. Yay. Our basketball hoop. There we go. Pushing the basketball hoop to make it fall is easy. You're not wrong there. I've also ripped your brother's homework and Francis blew up your younger sister's basketball. You thought you were blind. Hey Daniel, Francis and Aaron. Daniel, Francis, and Aaron, since you've blew my basketball, ripped Robert's homework and pushed the basketball hoop, you three have a strike each. This ain't some kind of a competition so suck it up. Nor is it a bowling game or some sort of shit like that. We can do whatever the fuck we want regardless. That's another strike for talking back to us. If you waste three more, we will be going straight home and you three will be grounded. Understand? Fine. Jesus Christ Xavier, it sure is good for me to become an average person again, am I right? You indeed are right, Brian. I mean, we were all such jerks in our childhood until we improved. What the fuck was that? Did the power just go off and then go on all of a damn sudden? <laughs> Brian and Xavier went scared all because of the electricity. You thought so, huh? Uh, Dad, Mr. Harrington and Mrs. Crompound, we can explain. There's nothing to explain about since Brian told us already, Aaron. Since you have messed with the electricity along with your friends, you three have a third strike. Oh come on. Not again. Give us a break already you dumb asses. And that's a fourth strike to the three of you for talking back to us. One more, I swear, we'll be going home. Got it? Damn it. Well guys, it was fun hanging out with you guys. Too bad it didn't last long. No it wasn't. Gabby's Dollhouse is the worst fucking childhood show I have ever watched. Same here. If anyone watches this show, that proves they are retarded. We're never going to watch this shitty show ever again. We're teenagers, not toddlers. Period. End of story. That's enough from you three, guys. Now you've just wasted all five strikes, which means we will be going straight home. Sarah's right. Why did we even tell you three about Gabby's dollhouse characters? Daniel, what's wrong with you this time? How did you dare to misbehave at Gabby's new home in Vion City? Thanks to you we now have to get Robert a new notebook, repair the basketball hoop and everything you did there. 
Look guys, I'm sorry. I just hate Gabby's dollhouse like Francis and Aaron do, and we didn't want to misbehave there but we had no other choice. Your apology is greatly accepted, son. You have to try to behave well like Robert does usually. But still, we're gonna have to ground you for the next three weeks, and while you are grounded, you will not be allowed to use your phone or hang out with your Gamma Wolverine friends for the time being. Please don't let this happen again. Yes, I got it. We all hope you've learned your lesson from us. I also hope you won't misbehave next time. Now please go to your room and think about what you did. We'll be coming upstairs talking about your behavior today. All right, I understood what you say. Christ, you guys can be mean sometimes. Francis, what has been going through your mind lately? We can't believe you misbehaved at Gabby's new home in Vion City along with your Gamma Wolverine friends. I'm really sorry Dad, Mom, Brian, Xavier, Gilbert and Ashley. Like Daniel, I just hate Gabby's dollhouse, and I also didn't want to misbehave at their new home, but I had no choice. Apology accepted, Francis. You just need to try your best not to misbehave at other places. But still, you will be grounded for two weeks, and while you are grounded, you will not be allowed to use your phone or hang out with your Gamma Wolverine friends for the time being. Please don't let something like that happen again, okay? Okay mom, I got it. I really hope we made ourselves clear to you about misbehaving. I also hope no misbehaving bullshit is coming from you ever again. Now will you please go to your room and think about what you did? We'll be going upstairs to your room to discuss about your behavior today. All right, I understand on what you all are saying. Aaron, we're disappointed in you right now. How can you dare to misbehave at Gabby's new home in Vion City? You know well what you did was wrong. Look mom, dad, Sarah, Robert and Mary, I'm sorry. I just don't like Gabby's dollhouse, and I didn't want to misbehave at their new home but I had no choice. Your apology has been accepted, son. You might need to try your best behaving like a good man and not a spoiled brat. But nevertheless, we're gonna have to ground you for the remainder of the week, and while you are grounded, you will not be allowed to use your phone or hang out with your Gamma Wolverine friends. Next time, please don't ever let this happen again. Okay? Yes mom, I got it. I hope that teaches you a lesson from that. I also hope that you won't be misbehaving again next time. Now will you please go to your room and wait so we can go there to discuss your behavior today? Alright, I understood. Geez, I need some rest after a discussion.